Ringwalski is the US Chief Operating Officer of Bitflyer, the world's largest Bitcoin exchange. Joins me now live from San Francisco in California. Um, what for you is necessary regulation to ensure the integrity, not of Bitcoin per se, because that really is an unregulated market, but in terms of Bitcoin trading? Yeah, so people often say that Bitcoin is a totally unregulated market, and that's actually a misnomer. So, for example, in the U.S., while we only launched two weeks ago, we've actually been working on licensure and regulators, uh, working with regulators over a year and a half um, prior to launch. And as of launch, we were in 42 states. And each state in the United States has its own requirements um, for letting a virtual currency exchange like Bitflyer operate. But at the end of the day, I suppose, you know, we, we can, we, I mean, we had this argument this morning or discussion with, with the CBOE. Whichever way we, we cut this cake up, at the end of the day, your Bitcoin exists nowhere. It is only backed by the idea that Bitcoin survives in its own right, correct? That's correct, but that applies to more than just Bitcoin. If you look at gold, uh, the same uh, potential criticisms uh, apply to it as well. So it's the collective belief that it has value um, perpetuates its value, and it has the characteristics of other assets that have value. So it well, can't exist in two places no, at once. Respect, it is transferable. Difference. With respect, there's a difference with gold. You, I agree with you that it only has value because people think it has value. But at the end of the day, you can put it in a bit in a shoebox under the bed or have got or a vault in a, in a bank. Bitcoin is completely virtual. Well, making the distinction between virtual and physical, I think, is sort of a short sighted way of looking at it. It's ultimately an asset. One is a physical asset. One is a virtual asset but it shares the characteristics of things that have value. So the same person can't have the same, two people can't have the same Bitcoin, uh, much like two people can't have the same bar of gold. And so the advantage that Bitcoin has over assets such as gold or other commodities is that it can be instantly transferable anywhere in the world with very few and very low costs. Now, I agree that you know, what we learned with Madoff and other scandals is that you could have all the regulation in the world and somebody can, somebody can still make off with your money if they are so minded. But if we take, for example, the VIX index or a Dow Futures index or an S&P index, there's always a feeling that you're dealing with a reputable body. So how, in terms of your own bit, bit fly, how important is it, the aspect of integrity that goes with the exchange. You're not a fly-by-night that's here today, gone tomorrow, and likely to uh, leave everybody wondering uh, what, what was all that about. No, that's absolutely right. And as you mentioned, Bitflyer is the world's largest virtual currency exchange, and it's also a leader in blockchain technology. Um, year to date, just through September of this year, we've done over $100 billion in trading volume, which is um, by far the largest in the world. So having that level of experience and that level of transaction volume gives us a lot more legitimacy and safety than uh, potentially a new player in the space. But reputation matters, and that's one of the reasons why I think Bitflyer has a huge advantage over other players in the world. Delighted you came in to talk. We'll talk more about this. As, we, uh, as you can gather, you know, many of us, myself included, are relatively new to the Bitcoin world. It's fascinating to learn about it from people like you. Thank you, sir. Absolutely. Thank you so much.